Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new course building real world mobile applications using .NET MAUI. In this multi-part course, I will be building a complex real world and full-fledged application which was chosen with the help of the community and I'll talk about that in a bit and we will build this application from start to finish. You can see a glimpse of the application on the right hand side. It is a YouTube clone application which will fetch the data in real time using YouTube REST APIs, display the information on the screen with the ability to search for videos, play videos, download videos for offline viewing, and many more. In fact, in a while, I'll also show you this application running in the simulator as well. One important thing to note, this course is only targeted for developers who have sufficient experience developing applications either using Xamarin Forms or .NET MAUI. If you are new to building applications, I would suggest and highly recommend the course from James Montemagno. I link that in the course description below. It is a four hours course where he talks about building cross-platform applications using C Sharp and .NET MAUI. So let's talk about the application. If you had followed me on Twitter, you may have noticed that a couple of weeks ago, I asked for suggestion for an app to be used or to be built for this particular course. I got a lot of good suggestions and out of those, I took four of them and opened a poll. YouTube application you can see is something that got over 50% of the votes. And this is the application that we are going to be building as part of this course. So let me introduce you to the two pillars tube player application, the YouTube clone application that we will build in this course. Let me bring up my simulator. Here you go. And let's run the application. So the page, starting page is pretty simple. It is displaying list of some videos. You can scroll through them. You can click on them to go to the details. You can search for the videos. In fact, let me search for a video on .NET MAUI from Gerald, let's search, here you go. These are some of the videos which are posted by him. Let's have a look at the signatures or a paint application. Let me click on it. It is going to YouTube, fetching the information. You can see this video has 974 views. It was posted two days ago by Gerald who has 18,200 subscribers. These are the tags that he used. These are some of the related videos on this topic, some information about this topic. If you want to see what people are commenting on, there are 12 comments which have been posted. You can even play the video. Let me pause the video. You can download the video for offline viewing. You can see it has started downloading with the progress bar. You can even share the video. Of course, it is running in the simulator. I don't have much choice, but I can maybe save it to my reminders, add it. So this is the application that we will be building. So what are we going to be covering as part of this course? Of course, we are going to be building this application, but moreover, we will be covering or we'll be talking about some of the best practices that I have gathered over the past few years working or building modern applications, including mobile applications. I have been building modern applications for the past 12 years now. I started in 2010 building Windows Phone applications. Then I moved on to Windows 8 and later on to GWP and Windows Mobile. And for the past five, six years, I have been building mobile applications for Android and iOS using Xamarin Forms. And very recently, uh, over the past one year, I have been playing with .NET MAUI as well. So these are some of the things which I'm listing, which we'll be covering as part of uh, this course and many more. Uh, one of the things which I have noticed when I'm working with multiple applications, there are some common things that I have to uh, code or build again and again. So this is, a, or these are the great candidates for putting in a common framework, which you can leverage across applications. Then, uh, we will also be building a common base page or a master page for consistent layout across the application. 
uh, I will not be using any of the MVVM frameworks uh, available in the market. For example, Prism or MVVM Lite or MVVM Cross. I will be building a custom lightweight framework of my own, which will have a base view model implementation along with the navigation service. Uh, if you have been following .NET MAUI, it is now much easier to build applications for both desktop and mobile applications. And if you ask me, I have built sufficient applications on UWP and Windows Mobile and handling the mobile versus desktop views using Visual State Manager is quite a pain. So I'll be talking about a solution for that. And then we'll be talking about building custom controls and most importantly, some common controls that we can reuse across the application. We'll be working with REST APIs, in this particular case, YouTube API, and of course, a great UI. An application, a good functioning application without a great user interface and a great user experience means nothing. So in my personal opinion, this should not be an after afterthought. This is something that should be baked into the design from get-go itself. So we'll be talking about that as well. And many more when we talk about the details in the upcoming videos. So please stay tuned. And hopefully in a week's time, I'll start dropping uh, the bits on the actual course. And in the meanwhile, if you want, please follow me on Twitter. I will post my Twitter handle in the description below and also some other applications that I have built using .NET MAUI. I have posted them on my GitHub repos. You can have a look at them to get some idea of how things are done, especially on the user interface side. And that's it for now. Hope you will enjoy the course. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.